Good morning. Well, actually it's afternoon. <laughs> it's like, it's like late afternoon. It's two o'clock, two or four to be exact, but happy Tuesday. Today is December 12th and welcome to another day of Vlogmas. I hope that you have seen my previous vlog and enjoyed it. And if so, thank you for watching. Um, I've got a few things that I've been working on today. I spent the majority of the morning getting Christmas presents wrapped and working on new sticker designs. I've got some new sticker designs for uh, um, Valentine's Day. And then I made a magnetic bookmark that I want to print off and kind of see how it looks and if what I need to tweak on those because this is the first one that I've ever made and I'm excited by it. And then I've got another sticker design that I will be incorporating as a three inch die cut sticker and then I will be making it as a little planner sticker too because I have uh, this whole idea of small business stickers that I really want to make and that's just the start of them and they're going to kind of be Valentine's themed I think. So I am moving forward. I've got one um, Christmas order that I need to finish today. I need to get one of the elf tote bags made so that I can give it to my girlfriend tomorrow whenever we get together to go shopping. I also want to experiment with a few more shirts. The DTF hack that I've been working on in the last couple of videos, the type of transfer that I'm trying to do on shirts is working really, really well. There's a couple things that I need to tweak. And as somebody graciously pointed out in my last video, and thank you so much for pointing it out because I completely spaced it. I did forget to do a final press on my shirts after the initial press and I know to do that. I do know to do that. I'm very good at doing that with the DTF transfers. I remember put them aside for the cold press, peel them, let them sit for, and then do another press to finish sinking everything into the fabrics. And I forgot to do that. And I washed one of those sweatshirts and, um, the one that I washed, it's it, the transfer itself did not come up, but because I did not finish adhering the design to the shirt, it's kind of bubbled underneath the transfer and it through a few washes it probably will come back off so I'm going to I've still got two of the shirts that I have not washed yet so I am going to drag those out and do another press on those wash those and see how those turn out and then I'm ready to dive in and start making a couple more of these because I really think that this is going to work I've still I still have to work on the printing issues a little bit and for the the woman who posted and said that she's doing the DTF hack. Also, if you have recommendations when it comes to not getting the roller lines on the printer, or if anybody else does, I would be more than willing to hear some advice on it. I, as I said, the last setting that I used on the Holly Jolly Babe shirt only had very, very slight roller marks, and I think it was just leftover ink from the previous shirt that I had done. So I'm going to try another one and underneath the same settings that I did the Holly Jolly Babe and see what those marks are like and hopefully doing it on high gloss photo paper setting is the ticket to getting everything to slow down and not have those roller marks so fingers crossed that that works so my goal today is get that tote bag done and then I want to get the magnetic bookmarks printed and cut I have not tried my photo paper through my um, Epson printer yet. There is mixed reviews on whether or not the Epson printer will take photo paper. So it's trial and error and we're going to see if it works. I hope that it does because I really want to offer magnetic bookmarks because for me personally that is one thing that I use all the time. I love magnetic bookmarks especially in books that you're kind of studying different materials and they're great. Like I think I've got four of them in my Bible. <laughs> um, and then I want to go ahead and print off these stickers and see how they look. I'm rambling and rambling again. <laughs> As I said, I should have called this channel The Ramblings of Hannah. But I'm going to go ahead and get on here and upload the bigger tote bag and get the elf's name, which is Olivia, and the little girl's name, which is Jessie. And get that made up, get the page printed off heat press going and we will get the tote bag done and then we will move on. All right, let's jump into it.
I went ahead and did one for my son. I'm gonna make one for my daughter too. I needed to make theirs anyway, but because I forgot to write down the settings, so I was kind of guessing, and I, I guessed correctly, but I kind of leave notes. Now we are making guesses. Okay, now. I'm going to leave myself a note on those settings so I don't forget. Those are adorable. Mm. I'm glad I came up with this idea. These are so cute. Let me go dig out the other two shirts that need to be repressed. And then I can move on to bookmarks and stickers. Okay, I'm back. So, I went ahead and got these shirts, and I'm going to go ahead and do my final press on them. Once again, thank you so much for reminding me. And we've got this one too. <laughs> this one cracks me up. I'm married and this one cracks me up. I asked my son if he wanted it. No. So are you sure? Okay, that was definitely better. I am gonna have to do that with butcher paper though and not. It definitely sunk into the fabric far more than what this is. I could, you kind of lose that buttery feel, but if it stays on, it's well worth it. We're learning. Oh yeah. Okay, now I'm definitely seeing the integration between the DTF and the sublimation. That was definitely the key. So, I am going to work on these quite a bit this week, I think. Look how good that color is. That's amazing. Yeah. I think we're on to something here. I think with a little bit of trial and error and taking advice from others and just experimenting, I really think the DTF hack will work. As I said, it, from this point, it's reliant on my printer and I'm going to wash those two tonight and see if that second press helped more than the first one. I could show you the first one. The first one turned out. The design stayed on and it still has that really buttery feel like it's not it's not peeling up anywhere but it's got really dark spots that are kind of they're not really bubbly I'm not really sure what they are I don't know if it's something from my printer like the only thing that I can think of is that water got behind like I can't feel it though So I don't know. I'm going to keep experimenting and hopefully we'll come up with a conclusion on this. 
I've still got a ways to go before that's something that I feel confident to offer in my shop, but I really am still excited about the process of it because I really do believe that it will work with time and practice. And a few tweaks. <laughs> okay. I am going to move on to stickers and bookmarks. I hope you're enjoying this vlog so far, and if you are, hit that like button, and if you aren't already a subscriber of mine, I would greatly appreciate if you were. So hit that button too. And if you want notified whenever my new videos get posted, because I am, I'm sorry, I am not very consistent yet. I am working on that, but I am not consistent. Um, but if you want notified, hit that bell button too. Okay. So I'm back. I've been working for a couple hours, and I just did a test print and cut of my first magnetic bookmarks. I did this on cardstock first because I wanted to check the dimensions and color quality, everything. Isn't that guy cute? And I wanted to see if I liked the size. And so far, I am really happy. He's a little bit longer than what I anticipated having him, but honestly, I, I feel like it works. What do you think? Isn't that adorable? I love the colors. The offset is a little bit off so I'm going to tweak that a little bit like the edging is a little off so I'm going to work on that do another test print on these and then hopefully I'll be turning these or making these onto some photo paper before the end of the day I could probably offer these on just cardstock too if the photo paper doesn't work out, but I will have to have a printing company print them for me because the this cardstock that I've got right here, it's 110 pound cardstock, but it's not, like I don't feel like it's very thick. It's, it's thick enough to be a bookmark base if it's laminated, but I don't think it's thick enough to stand by itself it, it won't hold up I don't feel like I bought thicker paper but my printer it won't feed so my only other option if the photo paper won't work is to have somebody else print it for me and I would probably go ahead and start with staples only because I have them close to me and I would want to see how much they would charge and what their quality would be like and then there's a couple other smaller printing companies that I would really like to work with, but I know that their prices will be higher. I will check in with them if this becomes, if that ends up being what I have to do, if I have to hire a manufacturer to make these for me, then I will definitely check into their prices, but I have a feeling Staples right now would be my, my cheapest option. My kids are messaging me, sorry. Okay, I'm going to mess with the offset on these and see if I can't get them a little bit more center on the white and I'll bring you back. Okay, round two. I changed this center piece and made it pink instead of white. I added more of a white border around the designs and I shortened it up a little bit. And honestly, <laughs> I love these. These turned out better than I could have imagined. They're so cute. Yeah. So, here's the first one, and here's the second one. A big difference in the sizes, the colors, the cut. These, these are amazing, I love them. So now, this is done on cardstock. So now I'm gonna go through and print them again on photo paper. And hopefully, hopefully they'll print really well and cut really well. And then I will be able to start offering magnetic bookmarks, which <laughs> I'm very excited about. 
I, my creativity is flowing when it comes to the magnetic bookmarks. There's so many different ones that I want to do with so many different themes. I'm really excited for them, but these, the paper ones, turned out really well. So, wish me luck. So, a little bit of an update. <laughs> I thought that what I had for photo paper was glossy photo paper, and I am wrong. I have matte photo paper, and when I pulled it out of my drawer, it is actually about thinner than the cardstock that I just used. So what I'm doing right now is laminating said photo stock, or um, photo paper. because I don't want to have to run out to the store and buy other supplies. I really want a finished product today. So I added laminating paper over it to add that gloss. And we're gonna cut these and see how these go. Don't mind this one, I've got a little bit of a crinkle up here on this one. But these are, like, I'm impressed with these. These are adorable. I'm disappointed about the photo paper because I really wanted to try that today. And this, this is photo paper, and the print quality, like the color, is almost identical. So we'll see how the cut goes. All right, I've thought that I would go ahead and show you the types of magnets that I bought to go along with these while the Cricut finishes cutting those. And I have took the advice of a lot of other YouTubers that make sure that they buy the 3M magnets. And I bought the dots that have the adhesive backs. And hopefully, those will work well. These are cutting well at least. Thank you Cricut Gods for working today. Past two days actually. I've gotten quite a bit cut in the last two days. Okay there's no paper or anything on the back of those. Besides, like once you peel them off they're already sticky. And I was told that the easiest way to put these on is to go ahead and put the magnets together first get them lined up and then to fold your sheet around it okay they feel a lot thicker with the laminate on them a lot thicker nice and glossy Gorgeous. All right. Place the magnet in the center. And then it sticks to my finger and came off. Let's try that again. <laughs> and I created a magnetic bookmark. I'm so excited by these. These will be released with my Valentine's collection. Okay. That is where I am going to go ahead and say goodbye for this vlog. I hope you've enjoyed it. I feel like I've gotten a lot accomplished today, even in just a short amount of time. I've got a lot more that I want to work on tonight, but I, if I jump back on here, I'll be starting the next Vlogmas. Once again, thank you for joining me. Thank you for all your love and support and your positive feedback and your help with some of my issues. I truly appreciate it. I appreciate you. You all are amazing. I hope you have a great day. Bye.